my channel, I'm Crafty Lady Etta. Today we're going to be doing a very special project. Now if you like what I do, please subscribe, tap that notification bell, and YouTube will notify you of any and all upcoming videos, and share. Okay, well with all this being said, let's get started. Come on. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, I'm Crafty Lady Etta. Today we're going to, I'm going to show you how to make a birdhouse. Well, we're going to be making a birdhouse. So I'm going to use this can, recycle this candlestick that I have. I'm going to paint it. You're going to need a birdhouse. Candlestick could be anything. It could be wood or anything you want. I have this birdhouse. I bought it Hobby Lobby, 50% off. I have these napkins. Uh, these napkins, I bought them at also Hobby Lobby at 50% off. You're going to need some white Waverly paint or any color paint you want. It doesn't have to be white. It's a Mudge Podge. You're going to need a little bird. This is a little bird I had bought at, again at Hobby Lobby uh, when they had it at 50%. It's actually, it's actually supposed to be a cute little bird. And you're going to need some pieces of wood. You can either get pieces of wood that you have outside from your tree, like branches, or you can you can buy these. I bought these at Hobby Lobby during Christmas time, and it was half off. It was a dollar fifty for these, so I thought I'd use these to make finish with the birdhouse. Okay, well that's all being said. Let's get started. Okay, I'm gonna start by painting this uh, white. Okay. okay, guys, while the while the candlestick is drying I'm going to go ahead and paint this birdhouse white down here because I'm going to mud punch the napkin on there but I'm only painting uh, the bottom part white not the roof because I'm going to put the those wood those wood sticks on there guys um i should have mentioned um i wasn't going to paint the the roof brown but i'm going to because i'm going to put the the sticks on there and i don't want this uh i want it to blend in with this this wood so i'm going to go ahead and just paint this brown Okay guys, I've already painted the birdhouse, so now I'm going to go ahead and mud podge this. It's got two plies, okay? You want to take off the white one and just do the one ply. So we're going to have to put this on a little bit at a time, starting here.
See how I did this part? Now we're gonna do another part. The same way. Okay guys, now we're gonna do another side. Save all your scrap pieces because you can use it to cover up uh, some of the other. Whenever you want to mud pudge something like this, do it in little sections. Put a little bit of mud pudge down here. And I just cut this little piece like that, with a little point. I'm going to stick it under here. And then just mud pudge it down. more little pieces. Just tear off a little piece and just put some more down here.
I <clears throat> make sure that when you paint the top, you kind of uh, put a little bit of mud podge on here to seal in the paint below. So when you hot glue the sticks to this, the paint will be peeling off. Okay, now guys, I'm gonna get these sticks and I'm going to glue them here. guys see how it's coming out so all I'm doing is just uh, I'm using wood glue and hot glue together You guys see how it's turning out then when you're done I guess you can leave it looking natural or you can uh, mud podge it also I'm gonna mud podge it to protect it and I'm gonna do the other side dry clear okay guys this is how it's coming out now I'm going to put some sticks up here in the front okay Okay guys, this is how it's coming out. Oops. I was thinking of, since I still have a gnome salt shaker, I was, I was thinking of putting this up here on top. I thought it would add character. And I'm gonna put a rock here. So that.
that's coming out so far. I'm going to put the little bird right here, and then I'm going to put it on the stand. I thought it's coming out super cute. Okay, let me see how I'm going to do the bird. It came out really cute, really nice. I love the way it came out. Well, if you like what I do, please subscribe, tap that notification bell, and YouTube will notify you of any non coming videos and share. And yeah, tap the notification bell. You'll get notified every time I upload videos, okay? Well, with all this being said, keep on cracking. Okay? Just give me a little bit longer look. That's really neat. I, I like the way it came out. Right. Until next time. Bye.